What's up, everyone? It's your boy Fireblade Pilot. As you can see, it's nighttime here, and uh, I'm pretty excited because my new helmet came in today. It's the R411 Pro helmet by HJC, and it's the Venom helmet. So I'm pretty excited. As you can see, Old Revzilla hooked me up. They ship free to Hawaii. Um, super happy because uh, a lot of other companies won't ship to Hawaii for free, even if you spend like $100 or more. So let's just say Revzilla is my go-to company. More props to them, and uh, thanks, guys. All right, guys, so I want to do this unveiling, even though it's nighttime. Uh, tomorrow, I'll actually wear the helmet around uh, so you can see what it looks like with the bike, get some distance pictures and uh, some video, and uh, you can see what the Venom helmet looks and its awesomeness on my BMW S1000RR. So we'll go ahead and uh, start the unboxing here. And I already cut it earlier. There's my trusty knife. But I saved the opening part for you guys. So as you can see, good old Revzilla stickers order form air packaging don't need that and the best part the marvel box comes in a cool as you can see red box by revzilla all right marvel limited edition oh yeah plain red box we'll take it out All right, now we get to the black HJC box. See what's inside this bad boy. All right, as we open, boom, we have the R411 Pro Owner's Manual. Nice. Another helmet's uh, manual of some type. Open this up. Nice cardboard package in there. All right, now we look down into here. We got a... Uh, the helmet uh, itself in the helmet bag. This is the smoke visor, which I'm definitely going to put on, obviously. Looks ten times better. Uh, what's this guy? Anti-fog lens. Oh, yeah, it comes with one of these. And pin locks. More cushion. Here's the helmet itself. All right, now that we've got the box out the way, we'll go ahead and unveil the helmet. And I'm excited. I've wanted this helmet for a long time. I actually tried on an R411 at Cycle City here in Hawaii. They didn't have any Venoms because they were sold out. But I tried on the Boba Fett, the Star Wars one, and it fits so nice. Look at that. Marvel. All right, everyone. I had to loosen this knot a little bit. They uh, tied it on me. So here we go. Here's the real unveiling. All right. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. R411 Venom. Oh, look what it popped out the bottom. This is, goes on the visors to extend the eyes. So you can have the eyes go all the way down. Yeah, that'll be awesome when I put that on there. So everyone, there's the helmet in all its glory. So y'all can see, got that venom, got that vent. Comes up in the visor front and center, and I like that. I've heard this, uh, and it weighs like nothing. It's so awesome how le much this doesn't weigh look at that the tongue hanging out teeth on that side the venom on the back the marvel limited edition i love it man it feels like a freaking baseball cap it's so light it's like wearing no helmet at all so yeah there it is uh that is the venom r411 hjc helmet i'm excited to have this thing um, like I said, here's the dark visor. I went ahead and took it out the plastic. When that bad boy gets on there, it's going to look awesome. And I'll put the eye extenders so you all can see it. Now, I got the anti-fog lens here. I'm not sure how that really works. I've never used one before. But uh, how does this guy open up? Other side. So anyway, it's supposed to go on the inside. And it keeps it from fogging up, which is a pretty cool idea, you know. And I apologize if the light's not perfect. I could have waited till tomorrow. Uh, I just really wanted to show you guys tonight in the vid. There's the anti-fog uh, lens. Pen lock. I'm assuming it just plugs on the inside. I might use that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, like, the lifespan on it. Like, how long is it good for once you use it. So we'll see. But there it is. There's your uh, R411 Pro Venom helmet. Tell me that I don't... <laughs> look bad ass and that's gonna look so amazing on my uh, BMW S1000RR I mean you got the again the eyes the shininess of the paint that dark visor is going on there 
and it's so, so light. I'm actually wearing a helmet right now recording this. It's my uh, Icon Armada, the Thriller version. Um, and I'll do a, I haven't done a review on any of my helmets, amazingly, yet I'll buy a new one, and there you go. And I actually got a size small. I'm literally on the line between small and medium. Um, so, I was, you know, and it's supposed to be race fit. But I had a medium I bought in the past, and then it broke in, and it was way, way too big on my head. So I went with small, and hopefully it breaks in. I uh, wear medium and icon, but small in my uh, Bell helmet, and my uh, now my Offer 11 Pro HAC. So we'll, I'll try it on. Um, when y'all see part two of this video, it'll be some outside vi you know, video footage, some pictures. I'll put it to some music for y'all's enjoyment with the Beamer. Uh, I'll wear it, and uh, y'all can check it out when it's daylight tomorrow here in beautiful Hawaii. All right, so I'll show y'all real quick how this kind of opens up uh, before we go. So you got here the vent. It's got the first detent, and then it comes up. Oh, yeah, on the inside here, we just got, oh, yeah, it's got a chin pad. Block out that air. Marvel tags here. And I like that liner. I like it a lot. So light. I just can't get over how light this is, guys. Take that out of there, too. But, yeah, there it is. So you got a super light shell. It's like a uh, fiberglass, probably carbon. Uh, you got the shield, which is awesome. All these vents, I like how these roll instead of click. I mean, they click, but they're like rolly vents. And um, the interior is so nice. It's got the emergency straps and all that good stuff, too. So just in case. But, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to wear it. Um, I am going to add the GoPro mount. It may be tough right here because you got this vent, but we'll see how it goes. And of course, my uh, Cena 20S is going to be mad on the side. Got to have the tunes. Got to have the speaker, right? So once again, there it is for now. R11 Pro Venom. Oh, yeah. There it is. So check it out. Part two of this video will be some outside, um, you know, views and shots in sunny old Hawaii. So uh, check it out. Hope you like it. And uh, leave your comments at the end of this video. Uh, let me know about the helmet, uh, what y'all think. Uh, you know, it is kind of pricey. It's $600, $599.99, I believe. Revzilla, you're awesome because I got a discount from all the other stuff I buy. <laughs> it adds up over time. They give you like, you know, $5 kickbacks for every $100 you spend. Needless to say, I uh, spent a lot of money with them. So uh, I highly recommend this helmet. It looks badass. Wait till you see it in its glory tomorrow when I'm wearing it in the daytime with the Beamer. And um, other than that, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't to this channel. Uh, you know, I got like 1,200 something subscribers. We're building up the Fireblade Pilot Army slowly but surely. Um, like I said, I don't do this to be a YouTube star. It doesn't make me any money. I do this because I love motorcycles and it's my hobby. So I uh, hope you all enjoy this. Um, like I said, tell your friends. Let me know in the comments below on what helmets you have or if you look forward to maybe buying this or the Spider-Man, which is cool too, but had to go with the Venom. That just looks so badass. So with that, y'all take care. And until next time, aloha.